This year, 36 boys tried out for the golf team. Only 13 made it, one of them being Lace Terry. I'm Lace Terry, and I play golf. Uh, I chose to play the game of golf because like, it's a sport you can bring in to your older, olden years, as my dad says. Um, I also chose to play it because it's a family sport. All, all my whole family plays it. My dad used to play it when we lived in Georgia. At practice, they usually play nine holes, and overall, the players have a good time. This year, the JV team got a new coach, Jason Ferguson. Which showed up halfway through the season. He's really supportive. I like the guy. Um, he didn't talk much, though. The players look forward to next season with Coach Ferguson. Hurricane Helene was a devastating tropical storm that caused widespread destruction across the southeastern of the United States. Bentley High School is participating in a donation for people who lost everything in Hurricane Helene. Hi, I'm Mrs. George and I'm here to share a um, community service opportunity with you. Uh, there's a church in London, London Church of the Nazarene, which is just down the street across from the fairgrounds. Uh, they are doing a hurricane relief drive um, for the uh, victims of Hurricane Helene, where they had devastating um, flooding and damage. A lot of people lost um, everything. There are a couple different drops that they can make, and they've got a semi-truck ready to be loaded. So they're asking for donations. Um, if you bring or would like to donate, you could bring in um, new cold weather gear, like new hats, new coats, new socks of all sizes, new sleeping bags or blankets, baby bottles and formula, baby wipes, diapers, paper plates and cups, napkins and plastic utensils, non-perishable meats with the pull tabs like chicken or tuna or things like that, um, can openers, flashlights, and batteries. So these are all the items that they need. Um, October 19th from 10 to 4 is a time that you can bring those items and drop them off at the London Church of the Nazarene at 224 Elm Street, London, Ohio. So 10 to 4. Um, so one way you can help is you can drop off items to donate, but also as a community service option, you can come from 10 to 4 on Saturday and help load all of the supplies that people are dropping off into the semi and help us get things loaded and ready to go. So um, I hope that you'll uh, think about helping and grab some community service hours as well. Thanks. Make sure to turn in your donations. Last night, the varsity soccer boys played Indian Lake. However, this was no ordinary game. The seniors of our team recount not only this game, but the past four seasons that they have worked hard for as a member of the Raider family. We talked to Justin Jackman and David Castillo. I mean, I think we all kind of look up to each other. We're just we're a team, you know. So we gotta go with each other's strengths and weaknesses. We look up to people for how they are and things, and look up to other people for how they are and things, and try to build a good team chemistry on that. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, they do. I feel like as a captain. What I do impacts them, and how I react on the field and how I treat other players also impacts them. I have. Um, sophomore year, I was injured for almost all of it, so that's wasn't fun. <laughs> this year's probably my favorite, honestly. It's uh, it's just been a blast hanging out with all my friends and Parker as a coach, and I just love it. I just love soccer. I love it, man. I have indeed played soccer all four years. Uh, I was varsity all four years. No flex, but. Uh, my favorite year, uh, it was last year. Last year, we had we broke the record for most wins in London boys soccer history. That was like a 20 year, 20 year like record, I think, and it was exciting. So let's hope this year we can go further in playoffs as well and continue to end off my season, my senior year on a great note. Ooh. It's probably what we said night for the senior night thing. I, uh, we were going against Shawnee and we were up 8 0. So, I'm pretty sure we were going to win the game. And we had like five minutes left in the game. So, I got to go from center back because I don't want really to play center back in defense. We got to go up to, I got to go up to center forward. So, I'm like, sweet, man. I might be able to score a goal because I've never scored a goal because I always play defense. So, I'm going up to center forward and I get the ball right in front of the goal. I'm like, shoot, man. I'm about to hit this goal here. And I step on the ball and fall over. <laughs> so, I didn't score. But uh, that was still, it was real funny, and I loved it. But For my time playing, I'd say my favorite memory was actually yesterday on senior night. Uh, 
uh, Michael, we dominated against Indian Lake the whole game. And it wasn't until the second minute, two minutes left remaining in the game, Michael Davis scored an 18, outside the 18. Nice, calm, smooth, and collective to win us the game. And the crowd erupted. Follow Jesus. And that's all I got. Trust in the Lord, and he'll make your path straight. I believe in all my heart, soul, and mind. Just to be kind of respectful and have common sense, it's not that hard to do. And if you just do that, it gets you a long way, knowing people and treating how you would like to be treated. We send our seniors off with love and appreciation for all they've done for us. Although they are gone, we will never forget all of the memories they've made for the London community. Good luck, seniors. Who am I here with? Um, I'm Mandy Knowles. I'm one of the moms here that works on the PTO board. How long will the Scholastic Book Fair be going on for? The book fair sales start today and it goes through October 4th. The kids are going to come anytime during the school day for purchasing and then we are also open until 7 p.m. tonight for parent-teacher conferences and next week on October 1st. What time do the children visit the book fair? The kids come to the book fair during the school day. Their teachers have a um, slot for them to come and do a wish list, and then they come back again to purchase. And they do that all during the school day when their teacher picked their time. So how does the Scholastic Book Fair benefit the kids here at the elementary school? So not only do the kids get to come down and shop and pick out gifts for themselves or for their family or friends, um, but we also get earn Scholastic dollars with each purchase that's made during the book fair. Um, and we turn that into books and things we can give back to the kids for gifts, for um, when they earn it. We also earn Scholastic dollars that we give to their teachers so that they can purchase class books and different things like that. Oh, that's great. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Top two seniors, what running means to them. Robbie has recently gotten ninth place in our London meet. I've overcame a lot of obstacles in my life, a lot of things with family, and just pushing my body to the limit and mentally just trying to be there, and it helps with a lot of things. If I've had anxiety or depression, anything along with that, it's really helped with. Lily Patterson has been running since her freshman year and has recently gotten first place in our London meet. Um, it honestly means so much. It's really made me a better person. Um, mentally, I feel so much stronger because of it, and realistically, being able to run just shows that I can really do anything. It's our seniors last year running for LHS, and we know they'll do great wherever their path may take them. Right now, the robotics class is building the robots for the first competition, although some may find it easier than others. So explain the robot soccer competition. So the robot soccer competition is uh, where we've got one team versus one team, just like normal soccer. And uh, the way that it works is that each team gets to control their robot with the controller. So the robots are not autonomous but we do have a team member controlling each robot and it's a good introductory project it just gets the students working with the equipment with the tools and the different robotics parts and they get to build their first robot and compete with each other um i just like to deal with robots like like to build robots um, it seems pretty cool. I took a freshman year, so I, and I couldn't take a sophomore year because I tried to join too late. So I wanted to redo it because it was pretty fun. Um, it was my senior year, and I had two friends last year that said it was good. My teammate is Jacob Hill, and my our team name is We Are the Chosen Ones. Um, my teammates are Jonathan and Matt, and our team name is F J M. Uh, not having the right parts. Not having enough parts and people stealing our parts and not giving them back to us. On the robot we had just built, uh, there was a wrong piece and so we're trying to figure that out and trying to fix it. Advanced, because there's like, there's probably just three smart kids in that class and I'm one of the three. 
Uh, I'll pop the link in the middle. I know what I'm doing for some, but like something has changed since freshman year, so probably like in the middle. What's changed? Um, like different parts and there's like different building styles from freshman year. I am most definitely a beginner since it's my first year. I think just going there, hey now with like your group, mission school. Yeah, going there, having fun, um, just a good time. Getting out of school. <laughs> getting out of school. No, I mean like robot soccer. Oh, um, yeah, I'd worry about soccer, but also getting out of school. Yes, we will 100% win. Yes, we will. Uh, yes, obviously. <laughs> Love the conference. Yeah.